everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Um, this is going to be my welcome back to YouTube um, video. <laughs> it feels really strange making a video again. I think it's been a month. I've um, got a lot of angry people and a lot of angry subscribers. <laughs> so I'm really, really sorry for not making a video for so long. I've just literally just had a break and had a little bit of time to myself. I've had a lot going on recently. Um, I've done quite a bit of stuff that's kind of like had me a bit preoccupied. So I'm going to do my August favourites today and um, but first of all I just want to tell you a few of the little things that I've been up to whilst I've been on my little break. Um, I went on holiday to Tenerife which I think I told you about in my last video. I can't quite remember. If not I did put a little message on my channel comments section and also if you follow me on Twitter um, which is at Makeup, I'll put a link to that right here. Um, if you follow me on Twitter, it's a great way to stay updated with what's going on. Um, I know I haven't been on it for quite a while, I've just like I said, I've had a bit of a break from everything. But um, I will be on Twitter from now on and just getting everything back up and running and um, coming back on it sort of full steam ahead. So I went on holiday to Tenerife. Um, then I've been away at Leeds Festival and um, just sort of had a lot of time with my friends really and just sort of surrounded myself with people that make me happy and just had a little bit of a break and um, yeah <laughs> so everyone's going back to university on sort of over the next two weeks I think so then I'll have lots of time on my own <laughs> to make videos with Millie. Just quickly one more thing before I start um, I will be putting a few videos up on my vlog channel of like my holiday and things I vlogged quite a bit whilst I was away um, so I've got some footage to show you from that and I also have a few outfit of the days from um, the evening on holiday which I'm not sure whether to make into um, sort of a mixed video of all the outfits on this channel or put them on my vlog channel. I'll decide that at a later date but um, yeah. Also please excuse my nails, some of them are painted, some of them aren't because I've been picking at them. <laughs> But um, yeah, so let's get started. So I'm going to start with my favourite lip products. Um, as you can probably tell, I'm wearing a red lip right now. I've been loving red lipstick. Um, I don't know why, I've just sort of just like been a bit more confident with um, lipsticks and just sort of been able to wear red a bit more. And I think um, what I usually do is just sort of wear like hardly any eye makeup when I wear a red lip. Um, so literally just like a teeny tiny bit of liquid eyeliner and mascara. But um, I'm not a fan of like nothing on my eyes. I kind of do like a little bit of shadow and a little bit of eyeliner. So I think when I when I'm comfortable with my eyes being a teeny bit darker, I can wear a red lip, which might be a bit too full on for some people. But I mean, my eyes aren't too dark. So yeah, that's the kind of way I've been getting around it. So I do really like that. The one I'm wearing at the moment is from Ica, and it's called the Liptastic Glossy Lip Pen. I know what colour is this. Uh, it says lip lover. I don't know if that's the colour. It's basically it's sort of like an orange turned red, um, like a coral red. You can see. It makes your teeth look really white. <laughs> um, so that's that one. And also my other favourite red um, is this one from L'Oreal, and it's called True Red, and it's one of their Colour Riche lipsticks. And it's the reason why I like this one is that it's so moisturising and a lot of red lipsticks you feel like you can't move your lips so they sort of dry up a little bit and you get like little crusty bits which is really gross. Um, this is really moisturising, it's sort of like a balm lipstick but it still has the intense like red pigment inside it so I really do like that. Also, um, this is not a lipstick but lip cut. Now you can get this in Boots or Super Drug I think. I got mine from Boots. Um, I can't remember how much it was, but this is kind of like an old school, like classic makeup product. And basically it's sort of like a lipstick sealer. It smells really strong, kind of like nail varnish remover. <laughs> um, it comes with a little sort of paintbrush like this, and you literally paint it over your lipstick. You leave it to dry, like don't press your lips together, you sort of have to go like this. <laughs> and then like, leave it to dry, which only takes a few seconds. And it seals your lipstick in for ages and ages and I really really do like that and um, as long as you don't apply too much and you leave it dry completely then it will work to your advantage and it's really really good so I like that okay then ta -da -da, this is my new little baby my new cherished lipstick I feel like we need like a sound effect of like angels or like a drum roll <laughs> um, this is my first YSL Rouge Voluppe lipstick and I got in number 7 which is lingerie pink 
kind of, first we just have to address the packaging. Look at this. Beautiful. It's gorgeous. They are pretty expensive. Um, I got this in the duty free in the airport when I went on holiday. So it was a little bit cheaper and also had a voucher um, from our travel company. But um, So yeah, I got it a little bit cheaper. But oh, it's amazing. I got this colour. I kind of wanted to get a red or like a, a deep sort of like plummy colour. But I thought... In reality, I'm probably going to wear something a little bit nude more than I will at red. Even though I just said I've been wearing red more, but overall. Um, and I didn't want to get the beigey nude, just because it was sort of a bit too skin coloured. So I got the pinky nude. And um, like I said, number seven, lingerie pink. This is the creamiest, most moisturising lipstick I've ever used. Like you literally just have to touch your lips and you get the most gorgeous, like pigmented, glossy pink colour and it's just absolutely stunning I love it and um, I'll probably write my next video to show you but um that's it lingerie pink this is really random but the new show deodorant smells absolutely gorgeous the pink one not the purple one I prefer the pink one and it's called bright um, and it's from the new fragrance collection I'm not sure if this is limited edition I hope it's not because I pr much prefer the smell of this to the, like the original one so that's just word of warning. If you're running out of deodorant and you want a new one, try this one because it's really, really good. And it says it's got flowers and apricots in it. And it's um, like a proper antiperspirant as well. So it really smells really nice. Um, okay, this is another little cheapy. Um, Natural Collection Boots. This is the Mango and Papaya Body Spray. I absolutely love this. I've been spraying it all over me when I've just been like, just to freshen up. And um I've got the one in vanilla as well, but this is a little bit fresher and a little bit fruitier and it just smells like a tropical holiday and in a bottle <laughs> and it's just really, really nice and I think it's only like £1.99. Um, then my favourite perfume of the month has definitely been this one. Um, it's Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. This is just a little one and my boyfriend bought me this one. He went on holiday as well um, and it's really nice. It's really fresh and um, it's not fruity because that makes me think of sweet things it's more of like um just like a fresh um like what's the word citrus <laughs> i was gonna say lemony limey it's like a citrus smell but not in a too like acidic way if you know what i mean when when you think of citrus you think of like sour like bitten sm smelling things it's more like oh it's really hard to describe just smell it when you're in your next place that sells perfume. <laughs> Give it a smell because it's really really nice and nice and light. So then I went to move on to my favourite tanning product. It's not really changed. Um, Sam Moritz Dark. Um, the firm one with the little... I <laughs> look how gross. In fact <laughs> you can see the shape of my hand in it. Um, this is my little tanning mitt. I have two of these that I use so that you can sort of like do it at the same time um, with each hand but this has just been amazing and I don't use that on my face a lot of people ask me if I use it on my face but I don't because I find that when you put your makeup on it sort of it just goes a bit like green and like cakey um, so I use this on my face and this is the Clarins liquid bronze self tanning lotion I've probably used nearly half of it um, but you only need a little bit and a little cotton wool pad and just put it all over so that's what I use on my face and it doesn't break me out so that's really good Favourite cleanser of all time, not just last month, is Bioderma. I've nearly finished this big bottle and I'm on to my second one soon. I've got one waiting. And then I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to order some off the internet. But this, I got this in Paris and um, it's just an amazing, amazing cleanser. Like, um, when I can't be bothered to do the whole Lizzo um, hot cloth cleanser thing, like say if I'm just really tired on a night, I'm staying over at someone's house and I just really can't be bothered then I'll just take this and cotton wool pads and it just gets everything off and um, it's really really good. So this is fairly new and um, I'm not sure how long it's been out but I got this quite a while ago like when it first came out and it's the Garnier um, Miracle Skin Perfector and it's basically a BB cream. Um, it doesn't have as much coverage as one of the like original Asian BB creams that I have over there which I kind of want to use in a video to show you about BB creams but um, this is sort of a lot less coverage and it's just sort of a really light um, tinted moisturiser um, this is in the colour medium I think they do a light I'm not sure if they do a dark when I was there it was just light and medium um, but I had a bit of 
self tanner on so I got the medium. I don't know all the sciencey side of BB creams but they have like anti-aging properties, um, vitamins and minerals and they also have um, a lot of things for correcting uneven skin tone on your face so it's really good that I do like it and then I set it with my Mineralize Skin Finish Natural from MAC just recently got a new one of these I love it, it's my absolute favourite powder this is in medium plus and that's really nice too um, ok, I've got three eye things to talk to you about two of them are actually MAC pigments which I haven't been using for ages and ages but I've recently got back into them because I sort of did a little tidy of my makeup collection and realised I do have a lot of MAC pigments that I don't use so I've started using them up again my two favourites at the moment are Vanilla and Burnt Burgundy um, I won't, I'm not going to do swatches just because they're so messy but I've loved these as like my eye combination because the purpley burgundiness of this brings out the green in my eyes and this highlighter also has a slight tint of like a violet inside it so it just makes my eyes look really green and I use this all over and in the inner corner and I sort of blend this really gently on the outer corner um, and I just really like that and then my new favourite mascara which I need a new one of, it's looking a little bit tatty this one is the Bourjois Volumizer Mascara and it's the one with the two step system and I absolutely love it like even, I think, even better than Makeup Forever Smoky Lash which um, is a big surprise because everyone saw how amazing that made my eyelashes look and it just made them really long and stuff but it made them long and separated rather than long and thick which is what this does so I'm just going to do a quick little zoom in so you can see what that mascara looks like but it's really really good ok so that's it for this video but I promise you I will be back on um, when am I uploading this? tomorrow I'll be back on Monday with um, a new video I really like to do a makeup tutorial for you all just to sort of get back into it and um, my little break sort of over now so I'll be doing my usual Monday Thursday schedule from now on and I'm so sorry for not um, being on YouTube for so long I feel really bad and I really really did miss it it's not as if I was glad to be away from it I did miss it but I just sort of wanted a little bit of time to myself so I hope you all don't mind and I hope you still are my lovely friends and lovely subscribers and um, hello to all my new subscribers <gasps> also I hit over 100,000 subscribers oh, <laughs> that's amazing and also I want to do a contest for that even though it's a little bit late but I want to do a contest or a giveaway for you all just to say thank you for all your support over the years so yeah that's all for now and I'll see you in the next video everyone Mwah! lots of love